Well, everybody, let me show you what the airbag system looks like on the Nasty Red thus far. So you guys can get an idea there. Right there, that's this side. The Anthem wheels, man, even off the truck, they look good, dang. And then you've got um, this side, which isn't done, but Dad's got it in the works. So today, guys, I've got a couple of things I want to go over with you. We're still waiting on some parts to come in for the dually. I think they just shipped as of today. We've got a few other things that I've got to work on as well. Um, one of the things that I'm waiting on is the tires for the truck still. Uh, yeah, pain in the butt. So that's, that's frustrating. I might have to call them up and be like, um, if I don't see those tires in three days, we're going to have a problem. So that's got to get dealt with because it's been far too long. Just finish up the airbag um, system for the Nasty Red so it's ready to go for the hay season coming up here for hauling stuff. And then also we've got to get the transmission built sometime this summer. We're hoping early summer, preferably in June, so that uh, we can get this done before a lot of the work comes in. Um, for hauling and stuff this summer so that the transmission is done. We got the compound turbo system in. Everything's just ready to go. It's ready to just pull and work. Um, that's what we want. We want this thing ready to be workhorse ready for the summer to really put it to work and uh, get some good use out of it. So super excited. A lot of things coming up. Today's video topic is going to be around the giveaway trucks and how the whole thing's going to work because I've said it a lot of times. I've kind of mentioned it. I even put a video on my homepage so nobody could miss it but there's still so many people asking questions about the giveaway and just a lot of stuff that people just want cleared up. Yes, I've made videos about it and stuff, but the channel is growing fast every day, so there's always new people in on the channel, new watching the content. Since the very, very first video of me talking about the giveaway back in January, I think it was like January 12th or 13th, I made a video about it. Yeah, we're about to pass 60,000, not 50. So it's been like 30,000 30, new subscribers since I first announced this back in January. This one's gonna be another video that's titled specifically for the giveaway to try to get more people understanding and knowing what's going on with that. Um, just because there's a lot of questions asked and there's new updates happening all the time with the giveaway stuff. Um, and I just want to make sure everybody's up to date and has a video that they can go to to reference to just figure this out and just know what's going on. Don't mind my extremely noticeable tan line on my arms. I was upset. All day yesterday I got totally fried. And I just want to first start off by saying that when I have a set date for giveaway, my anticipation, like my goal has been June 1st from the beginning. Um, I had told you guys it could be June 1st to July 1st, but June 1st, like that is my goal. That is what I'm pushing and pushing and pushing towards. However, you guys have to understand that this is not all on me. It's not just Oh, he says it's June 1st, so it's going to happen June 1st. That's my goal, and that's what I'm pushing. That's what I'm paying people to do to try to get this done. But I cannot guarantee you that that day it starts. That's my goal. That's when I want it to launch. I can't guarantee that's the exact date. Um, it's going to be very close, but I can't guarantee that's the exact day. So um, when I say that, I mean like I'm paying you know lawyers and stuff to go through and write up all the documentation, and register stuff with states and all different stuff to make this legal done so that everybody in the U.S. can enter this giveaway. Yes, I said U.S. Canada cannot participate nor anybody else outside of the USA. It's not because I don't want that. Trust me, I'd love to have Canada enter as well and everybody else. However, going international with a sweepstakes like this would be a fortune. When I'm talking a fortune, I'm not talking like a couple hundred bucks. I'm talking thousands upon thousands of dollars to make it legal. So for the first time around, I want to do just USA only, since that's where probably 85 plus percent of my fan base is out of, just so we can at least see how it goes. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to just, you know, spend thousands upon thousands of dollars, you know, so it's legal for Canada and USA, and then just lose tons and tons and tons and tons of money. You know what I mean? Because it, it is ex ex expensive to do, and I'm not guaranteed to make a dime off this. I could literally walk away losing a ton of money and somebody is still gonna get a truck, whether I make or lose money, you know what I mean? So it, regardless, it's gonna happen, but I hope you guys see where I'm coming from. Like, it, it's a huge risk on my part, so I'm doing as much as I can, but it's just really expensive, so we couldn't do Canada this first time around. But it is my goal to make it available for the next giveaway. It says, how would we enter the giveaway to get a chance at winning a truck? Would it be just a $5 ticket or so, or do we have to sign up? Somebody underneath that comment already answered it for you. However, I will answer it again for the videos, for the viewers. It is $20 is gonna be the entry for online purchase and that's gonna be the standard. So every $20 you spend gets you another entry, if that makes sense. So 
If you spend $100, you're gonna get five entries. If that makes sense, you spend $200, you're gonna get 10 entries. So that's the way that's gonna work. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Um, to get entered, like literally, like if you just wanna spend the base, 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 some people complain, oh, $20, that's so much. Well, I've got literally like, I'm not gonna say the amount, but crazy thousands of dollars invested in this for an 18 year old within a two month span. I've got so much money wrapped up in this. It's it's kind of crazy, but I'm putting everything on the line, just so you guys know. If that puts that into perspective, I'm putting everything on the line. But like, for example, a lanyard. You can buy a lanyard in one keychain, $20 right there, you're done. You know what I mean? If, if that's all you want to go, and, that, and if you only want one entry, or a decal in a keychain, or a decal in a lanyard, or just one t-shirt, you know what I mean? Like that type of deal. So it's really not hard to get entered. Pretty much if you buy anything, you're, you're almost gonna be at the requirement anyways, pretty much. So will there be more merch available when the giveaway starts? In other words, my merch is pretty much sold out right now. My decals, my keychains, my everything's pretty much sold out except for a couple of things. Yes, there's gonna be a huge restock. Like for example, these keychains, not these keychains, these lanyards. I just got 500 of these in the other day. I don't know if I'm gonna sell 500. I just bought 500 because it was cheaper than buying 250. So I bought 500. There's going to be lanyards, two different color options. There's keychains that are coming in two different color options to match the lanyards. We've got like three or four different styles of hoodies, four or five, six, seven, eight different styles of t-shirts. There's going to be 500 decals in stock because decals were selling like over 100 a week. So I figured at least 500 would be a good amount of decals to have in. And I don't know if we're going to sell all this stuff or not, but I'm bring, I'm preparing, you know, just in case because it's cheaper to me for me to buy an inventory anyways in bulk than it is to just buy stuff. So stuff that's universal like that, I just bought a bunch of it. There's definitely gonna be a huge inventory when this stuff's ready to go, just so everybody who wants to enter is gonna enter. Which truck would you pick if you were the one winning the giveaway and if you were in our place? That's a tough one to answer because I have a different taste depending on where I'm going. So if I'm gonna be traveling to my grandparents, I'd rather take the black truck because I don't really want to be shifting through the gears on the dually cruising on the highway, you know what I mean? I'd rather just be able to sit in that truck and go and sit back with my, you know, seat set back and just cruise than I would, you know, shifting through gears to pass people and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not a big deal or like when you're coming to a slowdown or whatever, you know what I mean? Like it's it's not a big deal. I would just rather have that truck. Now if I'm in the city, again, I'm city bumper to bumper traffic. I'm in Chicago where that truck, the black truck came from or I'm in city setting or busy roads, stuff like that, I'd rather own the black truck if it were me. Or if I live in like an apartment complex or I live in a subdivision where there's not a lot of space for a truck, again, I'd rather pick the black truck because it doesn't take up quite as much space, it's not as wide, fits in spots easier, it's easier on the roadways. I know the dually in town, literally painted the butt, it barely fits in the lanes. Like it's, you've got about this much space, three or four inches on each side of the lane, you gotta check in the mirror, watch your tires, make sure you know, when you have people on both sides, you're not getting out of line. But if you live, let's say you live in Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, or you live out in the country somewhere, you live in PA on dirt roads and stuff, like, you know, whatever, or you just you just want a good hard working farm truck, you haul cattle, horses, hay, you know, farm equipment, tractors, bulldozers, you know, whatever. If you need a hard working truck, that's a manual, dual, you know, it's got the dually in the rear end, it's 410 gears, like it's a pulling machine, you want the dually. You know, that, that's just my, that's just my take on it. Or if you just like a fun truck to drive and you wanna be more involved with the mechanics of the vehicle itself and feel like you have more control, it's so satisfying to drive the dually. No doubt my favorite vehicle I've ever purchased, even over Big Stink, it's been my favorite truck. I didn't say it was the prettiest, I didn't say it was the cleanest, or the, you know, whatever, or the nicest paint, but my favorite truck hands down to drive and most enjoyable vehicle to own, it's been the dually without a doubt. So if that says something, that's that's my take on it, but it really comes down to your preference and your application when you go to win. Where do you enter for the giveaway? The giveaway, you're gonna be entering on my merchandise store where you can purchase stuff. However, there's gonna be a new website dropped starting like a couple days before the giveaway, but it's gonna be available with stuff to purchase starting the day that the giveaway launches. It's gonna be a totally different setup, but it's gonna be very easy, convenient. It's gonna be easy to just add stuff and keep on scrolling through and find the stuff that you wanna purchase for entering. Just because the other website's not really personalized, it doesn't really say loud and proud, you know what I mean? Like it's just kind of like a white page with stuff on it to buy, so it's not really, it's just not cool. I, don't, I just don't like it, I don't like the layout. It's worked for me for now, but for bigger picture and bigger scale, like this kind of a giveaway, I'd rather have more functional and a better layout of a website for you guys to be able to purchase things on. I will make sure everybody knows about that when it happens. Are you going to do any other truck accessories on the trucks before giving them away? 
For Big Stinky, I'm probably going to leave the 4th Gen bumper because it sits on there. The brackets are the right ones. It, it's flawlessly mounted, so it's perfect. And it has the balance down below and everything, so it's good. The Dually, the bumper's kind of bent in and it's been like that since I bought it. I would like to for sure switch out that bumper before the truck's given away, just as a courtesy thing for the next person. If I did switch a bumper onto the Dually, some people hate it, some people love it, and usually it's the people that hate it are the ones that are going to leave the comments, and the people that love it sometimes won't say anything. I'm probably going to put a 4th gen bumper on the Dually when I go to swap it out. I would like to put the bumper on it before I take the truck to get painted, because the plan is to paint the Dually silver again. I'd like to get a 4th gen bumper put on that truck before it goes to the paint booth and I'd like to get a sport grill for that truck before it goes to the paint booth and then so when it does go to get paint I can just have them color match the grill and the bumper and just so it's done professionally at the shop and it's good to go and that gets rid of the whole big chrome deal that a lot of guys complain about but it still gives you a good looking matched up bumper that looks good on the truck and everything's taken care of. Will you ever do a Duramax giveaway? I can't tell you for sure what I'm gonna give away next or what I do plan to give away but I can tell you that it's going, there's gonna be a variety of trucks it's not just gonna be 12 out, 12 out, 12 out, 12, you know what I'm saying because 12 outs are sick, I love them but building the same truck every single time can get a little bit tiring, if you know what I mean. Tiring to watch and tiring to work on, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do an OBS, I'll do a Duramax, I'll do a different type of Duramax, do a different kind of Ford, do a different kind of Dodge, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to get switched up back and forth um, to where there's a variety of trucks done. So you guys have things that you like to see, you're going to get to see, it's going to get switched up, it's going to keep things entertaining, interesting, and cool moving forward. If I do decide to do giveaways with some of those trucks when I'm done building them, um, kind of like I'm going to be doing with the dually which is going to start here in just a handful of days we're going to start working on that you guys will have a different variety of trucks to pick from because not everybody wants a 12 out again like i said in the beginning i just want to clear this up just because i had made my original goal june 1st i cannot guarantee you 100 percent that that is going to happen on june 1st is that my goal yes and i've told my lawyers that i've told them that that is the goal that's what we want to shoot for let's try to get that done but I cannot guarantee you that it is going to start that day because they've got stuff they've got to take care of to help me out and help you guys out to where this can even be done. Otherwise, we can't give away trucks. It's just crunch, time crunch, time crunch, time crunch and with other states and registration and stuff. We want to make sure that's all done so that nobody is getting in any trouble. Nobody's, you know, not able to enter because certain states aren't done right or something. So everything is going to get done before the giveaway starts. So when the giveaway starts, Everybody's good to go. Everybody can legally enter and have a good time, have fun, and whoever wins the truck doesn't have to worry about any kind of, you know, state issues or something like that because, you know, something wasn't done right on paperwork and in the documents. So everything's got to get taken care of and done. Technically, we're like just barely more than two weeks out. That is it. We're like 17 days out from the anticipated start date for the giveaway so if something comes up in a couple days here i'm gonna hear back some more information regarding a date might have to be pushed back a little bit because of certain regulations and stuff like that and timing to get certain paperwork done with states um i'll let you guys know certain things that i can let you guys know on um, but for the most part that's the goal is june 1st can't guarantee it but that's the goal go down in the comments how many of you guys are excited for this truck giveaway. I'm excited, I'm super excited. Um, I'm also very, very nervous. I don't know if you guys can relate, but I'm extremely nervous because I do have a lot on the line, you know what I mean? But regardless, somebody's gonna win a truck, somebody's gonna be smiling ear to ear and happy about it, so that's what I'm keeping in the back of my mind. That's what I'm the most excited about. This is actually a very valid point and very valid thing to bring up. Somebody said, how are we going to get the vehicle if we win? And he's like, are you shipping it? Do we have to ship it? Are we going to go pick it up? Are we going to have to fly out and pick it up? Are you paying for a one-way ticket? Like, what's going on? Like, how do we, you know, how do we get the truck if we win? There's no set rule when it comes to the documentation saying this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen to get the vehicle to you guys. Okay, so um, that, that stuff hasn't been nailed down in that way because it really really can vary per person. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to, you know, put down a documentation. We are, you know, providing this, 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 and this, and not this, this, and this. Because it, it just really depends. Is somebody in Central Ohio winning and they're just gonna have somebody come bring them over from two and a half hours away? Or somebody in California winning that's, you know, like a two day drive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's, it just really, really depends. So it, I can't, I can't say what's gonna happen in terms of 
that end of things. All I can tell you is if you win the truck, we're gonna do everything it takes to make sure you get your truck. I've had people say like, dude, if I win and I live in Washington, I'm driving all the way there to get that thing. I don't care what I gotta do. I'm getting a free truck. I'm gonna come get the thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's gonna work out. You know, whatever has to happen, we'll make sure it happens. We'll make sure you're taken care of and you, got, you can get your truck. But obviously once it's your truck, it's your truck, just like any other vehicle. You have your own things you need to attend to. Leave down in the comments whether or not you guys are gonna enter and if you're excited for the giveaway. And if you are, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.